Coverage you can count on continues with Tara Brantley and Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News at 6. From the Summit City to the World Series, just a few weeks ago, Fort Wayne's Kevin Kiermeyer starring for the Tampa Bay Rays in the Fall Classic. Wayne 15 Sports Director Glenn Maridi caught up with the only player in Fort Wayne history to hit a home run in the World Series. They talked at his lake house in Steuben County. It is on. Here's a shot into right. Back at the wall. It is gone off the bat of Kiermeyer. Game one, fifth inning. Slider down the middle of the plate from Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw. I imagine that's a moment that played out in your backyard like a oh, million yeah. times playing home run derby with, with Dan and, yep. uh, you know, with your brothers. Rounding first base, I couldn't even feel my feet hitting the ground. And, you know, at, at that time, that made the game 2-1. to one. They were leading, and it felt great to, you know, cut the lead in half right there. But to hit a home run in the World Series is something... Uh, you know how special it is, but especially to do it off of a, hall, a future Hall of Famer, Clayton Kershaw, one of the best pitchers to ever take the mound. Uh, truly incredible, something I'll, I'll definitely take to the grave, think of my whole life. And uh, still, I still think about it, it just makes me smile. It's crazy because uh, pro baseball is now, could be a reality for me. Was there a moment at all during the World Series when you thought, man, here's this 31st round pick, 941st overall in the 2010 draft. This guy that, you know, nobody thought maybe that would make the majors. Here I am in the World Series hitting home runs. Yep. Definitely the home run was uh, definitely the, the first moment of that. And, you know, there are times where you just have to sit there and look around and you, you pinch yourself thinking, man, I'm so fortunate and lucky to, to play um, where, I, where I'm at right now. But, you know, there's a lot of hard work, sacrifices along the way. I mean, it's a great feeling just uh, for my team, really. Individual stuff can come later, but... It's all about my team. You know, you truly put your mind to something and, and stay committed to your craft and trying to outwork the rest of the field. A lot of good things can happen, and I think I'm a good example of that. I'm not the best player on the planet by any means, but I've accomplished a, a lot of things to be proud of, and I want to play as long as I can until someone tears this jersey off. But, uh, you know, it's been a fun ride, and I'm not, I'm not ready to be done just yet. My biggest fish is a... 43-pound carp I hit in Wisconsin last year, and well, if you could have got my reaction, if there was been a camera on here when I hit that, it could have it could have went viral. What's it like to come back? And obviously, this is you know partly where your heart is yep. to be up here on the lake like yep. this. What does it mean to yep. come back like this and and be able to kind of have this place as your your haven, if yep. you will, back near your hometown? Oh, you need this. This this is my happy <laughs> place right here. Um, you know, after a long season of all the traveling and hotels, you know, big, big city with all the lights, I need a slower pace of life, and I have it right here. And, and this is what I know. This is what I grew up with, and this will forever be my happy place. Here's one in the right. This one is way out of here, and game four is tied. How would you describe your experience in a nutshell? this past year. When all this first happened back in February leading into March or whatever it was, I remember saying in, in my first interview, we have to adapt to the environment that is asked of us. And we did just that, um, you know, doing the spit test every day since mid-June. Definitely not fun by any means, but, you know, if we wanted to continue and play, we had to do those things. It's hard to describe it, though, in a nutshell. I don't know. I don't know, Glenn. I don't have a great answer. It, it, it's just like me, low-key, under the radar. Motivation will be no factor for any of us. We're going to all work our butts off this offseason and uh, you know, try to finish it our way next year. So we'll see if we can make that happen. There you go. That was Glenn Marini reporting. While the Rays ended up falling to the Dodgers four games to two in the World Series, Kevin did get another win of sorts. He and his wife, Marissa, expecting their second baby boy. She is due on what will be opening day of the 2021 baseball season. Now.